BBC News at 9 o'clock. The Cabinet Office has apologised after a list of the home addresses of hundreds of New Year Honours recipients was accidentally posted online. It included Ministry of Defence staff and police officers, raising concerns for their security. The Taekwondo world champion Jade Jones, who received the Order of the British Empire, said she had yet to be contacted by officials. It's literally the first I've heard of it. And, um, yeah, you know, obviously mistakes can be made. And I, I know it is, you know, dangerous about people's addresses getting out. But, you know, I'm sure they didn't do it on purpose. So it is scary, but it's a good job I do Taekwondo. So. <laughs> The former Conservative Home Secretary, Lord Howard, has accused some judges of distorting the law to get the outcome they favour. He cited the Supreme Court's controversial ruling that the prorogation of Parliament was unlawful. He's called for changes in the way judges are selected. Somalia's president has condemned a bomb attack that killed more than 70 people in the capital, Mogadishu. Mohammed Abdullahi Farmajo blamed the militant Islamist group Al-Shabaab and said efforts to rebuild the country would not be held back. Officials in Australia say volunteer firefighters who temporarily left their jobs to fight bushfires in New South Wales will receive compensation for loss of earnings. More than 100 fires continue to burn. French police have again clashed with protesters in Paris as people taking part in the 59th week of Yellow Vest demonstrations joined others campaigning against pension reforms. BBC News. Now on BBC Radio 4, the second adventure in this series of Pilgrim by Sebastian Bonchkevich. Ray Norris has been a bit luckier than some, perhaps, but he's always lived a perfectly normal life until the day he discovers that his luck might actually be power. Just don't know what it is I'm supposed to be looking at, Crofty. <laughs> figures, Ray, figures.